guys, it is Tanya, and welcome back to the channel. And happy 28th of December! It's kind of weird, like, Christmas will be over when you guys are seeing this by a couple of days, but it's Christmas Eve for me when I'm recording it. But anyway, this is a collab I am doing with Cool Nicky D. I will link his channel down below. We did a 50-50 collab where we built a high school. So he did the first half of it, and I am building the second half. I think his side looks a lot better, <laughs> but I uh, wanted to include like different types of classrooms and stuff that wasn't included, and I know in my high school that we had all of the like extracurricular, I can't say that word, extracurricular activities like in a separate section, so that's kind of what I went for. There's a couple of regular classrooms, kind of like almost like a student lounge, which I know is more of a college thing, but it's been a long time since I've been in high school, so I included it anyway. Uh, there's also a walkway, uh, like an overpass into the side that I built. I thought that was kind of cool that it was kind of separated but connected through the top half of the building uh, to pass over. And then there's doors on both sides and there's a staircase and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's all fully functional. Um, but the classrooms I included and also my <laughs> I don't think it came out well, but I thought it was a cool idea to include is I included a gymnasium with like basketball hoops in it. So I thought that was cool, and it took me a while to figure out the lighting. I come back to it at the end because I was frustrated. But I have that. I have two regular classrooms. I have a computer lab. I have an art studio and a, what was the other one? And a music room, so like band. So I thought that was cool. It mostly has keyboards and guitars in it because, you know, we are kind of limited in what instruments we have in The Sims right now. But I thought it was really fun. But in, in this collab was a cool idea. I've built like one school, like a schoolhouse and a couple of like, just specific school rooms for a machinima I worked on, but I've never like worked on a full school like this, and I thought it was a really fun idea. So uh, thanks, Nick, for asking me to do this with you. Uh, so you guys definitely have to check out his half. His little classrooms are so cute, and I was like, oh my god, I wouldn't have even thought to do this. Like the science lab was like perfect. That's exactly how science was. You were always at like counters, and. I just, I really like it. I think it, it was really cute, and I tried to, like, make my side match as best as I could. Uh, I think it came out okay. Uh, you guys can let me know what you think, uh, but it was fun. So <laughs> that's what this is, and I, I know, like, different high schools, like, this, he described it to me as, like, a semi-outside high school, and in my high school, we were not allowed to leave the building at all. Like, <laughs> Not even to, like, be on the same property. Like, you couldn't go outside unless it was, like, for gym and your teacher was walking you to, like, the tennis courts or something. Uh, so, I, I, I don't know. I, I know times have changed, too, because now at that high school I went to, like, you can. And you can have your cell phone out. And there's all these things. And I'm like, if you had your cell phone out, that got snatched by a teacher immediately when I was in high school. So, I, I mean, I don't know what's high school like now for any of you guys that are in high school. I haven't been in high school for, oh, God six years? That's scary. That is so scary <laughs> um, that it's been that long. So I, I'm sure lots of things have changed and I don't know. I, but I thought it was kind of fun to make like an art room with like all the easels and stuff. I never liked using easels and I like avoided art classes in high school which is kind of funny because then I ended up being technically an art major, a graphic design major which was part of the art branch so I had to do a ton of art like in college. Uh, so you know, that, that wasn't always the best because I just wanted to do art or like design, but I had to like learn figure drawing as well and like perspective drawing. And I was like, I did not want this. This is not why I signed up. Uh, so spoiler alert, if you're going to college, you have to take other classes that are not really related to your major in order to get your degree. Yay. This is a high school though. So let's talk about high school. Let's see what I can remember. Um... I felt like high school was kind of easy, but then again, I was a bad kid and I didn't do any of my work. And I, <laughs> instead of like, okay, so my high school boyfriend at the time, there were, and one of my best friends, we had shared classes. And so <laughs> I failed math one year because my boyfriend at the time was in my class and we wouldn't do our homework or any of our work in class. We would play Yu-Gi-Oh in class. <laughs> instead of doing work. So I failed, I think that was Algebra 2, and then I had to take it my senior year or I wasn't going to, like, graduate. I took, like, 
not a lot of math because I, I just didn't feel like doing anything. I was very unmotivated and didn't really care in high school. And so I almost failed at senior year too because my best friend ended up being in my class and me and him were just talking all class every day. And I just, I wasn't, do, I wasn't doing well. <laughs> it was a mess. Don't be like me, kids. Make sure you pass your classes. I did end up passing it and graduating on time. And then um, I went from almost failing everything in high school to immediately in college, getting like straight A's, honor roll, honor societies, all that kind of stuff. So I, I turned it around. <laughs> there, it, it is possible. It is definitely possible. Uh, this is a cool computer lab. I wanted to add one of these here because I know there's a lot of um, courses that are more on computers now. Uh, I know in high school I took a couple of graphic design classes. I've taken like a million at this point, but like they had like computer graphics. Uh, you could even just take classes on like Excel and typing. I don't think they say typing classes anymore though because I think everyone knows that, but I don't know. Do they? Has anyone take a t taken a typing class in the last like 10 years? I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I know I had one in middle school, which is kind of funny, um, but I, I tried to size that up to be like a projector and I was like, no, everyone's got like smart boards and like cool TV things. So I just put the size down the movie, uh, movie stuff pack TV theater thing and put that on the wall as like how they would like present stuff to the class. I mean, I don't know, like what, what do you guys learn if you're in like a computer graphics class in high school? Cause I think, I know somebody's gotta be in one. Um, I know like we did a lot of like Photoshop mostly in high school was Photoshop and a little bit of Dreamweaver in one of my classes um, where we were completely using just the WYSIWYG to create the uh, websites um, because it was high school. <laughs> but when I went to college, it expanded past Photoshop. We were in, I, I like can find my way of round Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere, After Effects. <laughs> and uh, if I use Dreamweaver, I don't use it for the WYSIWYG. I just use it for it to code uh, because it, it'll color coordinate your code so you can see like when you close tags and stuff like that. And I code fully in HTML. So you can get your start in high school and then like bring it to college. It's, it's a good foundation. I felt like it helped. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we just did some classrooms, I think. I don't know. I had like a couple generic classrooms because I know that Nick had done that and I thought uh, I had to fill up the space somehow. So I had a couple more classrooms over here because I know my high school had like so many classrooms. I was like, it was like three floors, and I want to say there was three, four, five, six, like 18 classrooms a floor, maybe, maybe more. And although the bottom floor was a little different, it had some like the main office and the gym and the arts, uh, art areas and stuff. So it might have had less, but oh, this school doesn't have a cafeteria. Oops, <laughs> that would have been a good idea to add. I gave you a gymnasium instead of a cafeteria. <laughs> the school wants you to work out and not eat. Maybe, uh, maybe like you guys could add, if you download this, you could add like some food trucks or something. Cause like, it's more of like an outdoor high school. Maybe you have the freedom to go get food elsewhere or you can bring your food to eat. I don't know. I think that's kind of an interesting idea. Cause I didn't even think to add a cafeteria. That would have been a good idea. <laughs> And that would have been kind of cute, like, try and make the cafeterias like I had when I, grow up, when I was growing up. And we kind of have the tables there, because uh, there's, like, this one, what's it called, like, ooh, picnic table that kind of reminds me of it. Because we had, like, tables that, like, folded in half, and then there was, like, blue circular seats. There was, like, I don't know, eight of them on each side of the table, and the table could fold in half to, like, be pushed off to the side, and they were all on wheels, and, oh, I could have made a cafeteria. Missed opportunity. Sorry, guys. But you, I, I think you could, like, renovate this and add it. Like, a lot of the space on this lot is taken, but I think you might be able to squeeze it in or repurpose some of the space I used for other stuff uh, and have a cafeteria. I just wasn't thinking of that. I was like, what's in a high school? It's been too long. I can't think of it. And I want classrooms that weren't already done by Nick. And so I just went with that, and I didn't think of a cafeteria. I'm kind of bummed about it now, though. <sighs> Well, since we don't have cafeterias, what is, does anyone have, like, good cafeteria food at your high school? This is going to sound weird because everyone complains about food at their schools, whether it's their high school, their college, their middle school, whatever. They always complain that the food sucks. And I always really liked the cafeteria food in high school. And, like, a lot. We had, like, Italian dunkers, which were, like, these breadsticks that were really soft, covered in cheese. And you got marinara sauce to dip them in. Those were amazing. Uh, I think my least favorite of the stuff that I liked was probably like their chicken patties and stuff, which weren't really that great. 
uh, and I also had a chicken patty sandwich, which was the not so spicy chicken patty. And okay, most people would say that was not spicy, but girl, oh my god, it was spicy. I could not deal with it. I <laughs> I would um, I'd get it still, and I'd drink so much milk with it, like so much, which is bad because I'm lactose intolerant. But like I couldn't handle it. Like I can't handle even the littlest bit of spice. It's pretty bad. Uh, but some other foods they had that were like my favorite. I absolutely adored. They had the quesadilla pizza. And I don't know why I loved it. It was basically just like a cheese quesadilla, but it had like some kind of like it and it had sauce in it, some kind of spice to it. And it was just so good. And a lot of people didn't like them. And I had one friend that, uh, on <laughs> cheese quesadilla pizza day would buy a second lunch and give me his piece of pizza cheese. I got two. Uh, and <laughs> I always thought that was so nice. I loved, like, I would occasionally go up and buy a second piece because so good. It was the best. I don't know why I loved high school cafeteria food so much. I feel like if I had it now, maybe I wouldn't like it anymore. But, like, I do have memories of liking it. And I remember at the end of high school being a little sad that I would never get a quesadilla pizza again. Uh, and I, <laughs> it just sounds so ridiculous because everyone does complain about, like, their high school food, which is, you know, fair, fair. If you don't like it, you don't like it. That is fine. But I kind of liked it. Anyway, this is the gym. It's pretty empty because I wasn't sure what to hang on the walls because it's usually like bleachers all up the walls. Uh, but I didn't think that would look good just raising a bunch of benches. So I just put like one row of seats, which I thought looked okay. But if you guys can think of a cool way to do bleachers, the only way I could think of is if I did like a sunken room and the bleachers were higher up. But I didn't really want to mess with the foundation much here. So I didn't do that. Uh, but anyway, we are coming to the end of the video. Please go check out Cool Nikki D's channel and his part of this collab. I can't wait to see how he built it. And I will see you guys next time. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a wonderful new year. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.